and better, better gaming. The place where things are happening. So yeah, so you're an 18, and you've got iron keys that you now found. <laughs> you're an 18. <laughs> you're an 18. Roman Sharp. After that spooky battle. So what do? So uh, did, did, moving on, right? Moving on. I assume. Bob's watching Mario too. It's true. Uh, let's go to that filled-in blob over there on the left of the castle. Over here to the left. Have to to get there. Yeah. So you can go through this door and then go through this door. Sure. Into nineteen. So nineteen, the entire south wall of the keep is gone leaving half of a long hall exposed to the outdoors. Rotting mantlets and palisade walls abandoned by the castle's ancient defenses face outward. So there's little freestanding wooden shields. Nope. Uh, as you approach 20, uh, you can hear uh, cries for help through the door, which is barred from the inside. Can I pick the lock? Uh, yeah. Use your new we have a key, right? make a roll. Oh, yeah, we have keys. I try the keys. Yeah, we also have, have a half look. Let them do it. <laughs> All of those are valid methods to key, except the keys. Those don't work. Okay. <laughs> 21. You pick the lock. Perfect. <gasps> This room, which fills the entire tower, is empty except for a wooden trapdoor in the middle of the floor. Chained to the trapdoor's iron pole ring is a man wearing chainmail and a heavy fur cloak with a sack pulled over his head. Leaning against the wall beyond the man's reach is a shield bearing the symbol of Tempest and a long sword with a falcon-shaped hilt. Is this that guy that Isabel wanted us to find? I take the sack off his head. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Or thank Tempest. He is the God. Hey, God. <laughs> y- yeah. Sure. <laughs> so I'm saying some uh, hesitation there, Dad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a God is just technically A God, correct. yeah. Not my God. Well, nonetheless, it's still good to see some people. And he sees Sir all and says, Oh, oh, thank goodness. Would you please... Uh, let me up from these manacles. Sure. We let him up from the manacles. Um, I'm pretty sure Grosh has a spell for this. Okay. <laughs> to remove manacles? <laughs> yeah, Grosh is going to detect good and evil on this guy. I've been oh, okay. avoiding doing that because Sid's around. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> is it area or is it just on a person? Uh, I will double check that. Ah, shit. No, I won't. I don't have that level yet. Ah. Uh, wait, do, I think I have protection. Oh, yeah, no, I do. Evil. Sorry, I read, I read display evil and good. Detect evil Displ- and good is definitely my evil? first level. I was going to say. Um, He's got an evil HUD. <laughs> it, is, it is self-directed, so I can just detect it. Um, so, yeah, he is. For, for the duration, you know if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within 30 feet of you. Oh, interesting. Well, okay, there is. Sid's guts light up. <laughs> I don't think Sid is any of those you, things. No, but no he that was my one. other character. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sid eats lots of things. Yes. Just not on this character. So you don't want to unchain him? I'm just seeing if I can tell where the source is. Oh, yeah, and where the creature is located. So, is he a fiend? He's not a fiend. But there is one within 30 feet of us. There are fiends below him. Oh, let's go. Let's open the trap door. Well, he's chained to it at the moment. Yeah, then... Well, let's unchain him and then open. Yeah, the so door. so Grosh will yeah. convey that information and pull out the little uh, mace of disruption. Thank you, my friend. Uh, all right, so he uh, is happy to be freed, and then you open 
the trap door and there uh, is a stone cellar <laughs> underneath. Sorry. What kinds of stones is he selling? Just the uh, basement kind. Uh, huh? I rolled a 14. Are they priced fairly? <laughs> <laughs> These are southern fine. stones. You don't know quite as much about them, but they're fine. So there's nothing of interest or value in this? There's some fiends. Or I was going to say, there's some fiends within 30 feet of us down there. It would be That would be not fiends. Um, do you know which it is, or do you just know that they're there? Uh, I... It'd be undeads, I think. Yeah. yeah I think um, it says. Or... Yeah. So, yeah. I know if undeads. there, I it's know not... if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fe fey fiend, or undead within thirty feet of me, as well as where the creature is located. I don't know if it's just like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's some undeads on, on sort of a, on the ceiling of the room. You can tell the room that you're above. Okay, so probably more vampires then. We're in we're in this darkened in blob right here. Oh, right? I'm sorry, I can erase that blob. It's okay. just a room though. But no, I just was not sure if all this is happening in nineteen. No, <laughs> wrong layer. One of these. I don't know. What did he erase? Uh, he erased background. the map layer. Oh, okay. Rather than the blob layer. Yeah. So there you go. So blob twenty layer. is it's a big old round room with a trapdoor in the center. Yeah. Also, that guy gets his shield and sword. If I, yeah. I didn't mention that already. Cool. Let's. Uh... Unfortunately, detect evil and good did break my uh, spirit guardians. So. Oh. That's okay. Oh yeah. Or concentration. Yeah. Whatever the. That's fine. Yeah. Spirit. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Open the trap door. It's open. They're 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 not coming out at you. Oh, okay. Because so you wanna, as far as they know, they don't know you're there. Or they don't know that you know they're there. Wait, so what's down there? Vampires. Some vampires. Probably. Love them. Should we just tell them we know they're there? We know you're there, vampires. No, that didn't work out well last time. Yeah, it did. It worked out super well last time. They flew at us like we were fucking inside, and they were birds hitting windows. Yeah, but your we just watched them not. die as they got close yeah, to us. Yeah, if you turned your spirit guardians on, like, right now, they are directly under the floor from you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to save that for a more threatening fight. It's probably true. It's true. Also, can still detect evil and good for up to 10 minutes, so this seems like a really good way to not get surprised, even though I also have the war. Basically, sure. it seems like a good I, good way to get a surprise round every time we want. Yeah? Cool. Uh, why don't we go check out that other not unfilled blob? You're just going to close it? Yeah, whatever. Leave him, leave him be. I don't care. We'll kill him. We need 100% completion on this shit. Let's go. Let's go. That's blob, not blob. what this party does ever. <laughs> on blob the blob. So you go over here. This, this, by the way, is a cage. Is there anyone in it? Uh, let's see if there is an A. This cage is empty and unlocked. So as you go over to here, you can see this cage is not I'll empty. Get in the cage. Erase that black shit. What? Just I'm get in erasing the cage. it. No. It's cool. It's it's fine. Get in the cage. See, I don't see trust you. In. The Johnny cage. Look at this. Look at this face. This is a face that a mother could look at. You go in through two. Yes, they could. <laughs> uh, 10A, the hall is strewn with burnt wood that fell from the ceiling. Through holes in the ceiling, you can see charred rafters, crisscrossing a torched attic that's open to the sky. So, not a I whole lot there. See that. Ten C, from what you can see of it, is also burned out. A semicircular room is gutted by fire and open to the sky. Okay. Uh, above you are burnt rafters, and the charred remains of the roof. What's in Ten I don't think we should keep this haunted house. <laughs> it's defective. It's not good. It's got to be falling apart to be truly haunted. Ten B. Forever haunted at this point. Uh, well, yeah, you're un you're slowly unhaunting it. Or yeah, we're, unhaunting, we're unhaunting the fuck out of this house. The ceiling of 10B has collapsed, filling the room with burnt timbers. Buried under this wreckage are scattered crates and a human oh, skeleton clad in tattered leather armor. New new book. campaign idea. Supernatural meets this old house. What'd you say, Bob? Just all, 
We're all Bob Sorry, Vila. I was helping Hannah fix something. Oh, okay. I, I said, what's in 10B? Uh, the ceiling is collapsed with more burnt timbers. There's a skeleton uh, with a charred wooden spur sticking out of its ribcage lying on the ground. Okay. Wasn't right, there so that was another weird. skeleton somewhere in the front of this operation? I mean, Wait. it's it's the site of an ancient battle. There's a lot of skeletons. So okay. This one was clearly what's staked, that? though. What's so. this guy's name again? This guy that we found? Uh... Dr. Dark, Dark with. No. Okay. And what was he? What are you? What are you doing over here, guy whose name I already forgot? Uh, all right. Let me let me find this. I was visited by my friend Alwyn Mulverax. He told me that the spells working to keep the portal beneath Dragonspear Castle were weakening. Uh, and that as followers of Tempest, it was our charge to strengthen them. We made it as far as the castle keep before being ambushed by vampires. Uh, I remember nothing after that, though I fear that I was under their sway. So, you, like, were here to, like, re-up the portal protection or whatever? Yes, it's been nearly a century since the last ritual was cast on the, the oh, altar of Tempest here, and this, the... Uh, you gotta keep a more very rigorous weak. maintenance schedule. Like, I mean, everybody thinks the other guy's going to do it. Mm. And by the time you realize that no so one's you, done it, it's been a th it's been 100 on, years. Log on the wall, man. Well, they're mean, discussing usually, this. I'm putting the skeleton into my bag of holding. Okay. Sid. Get the skeleton <laughs> wearing a leather jacket. Gross. Um, okay, well, where do you do this ritual at? Uh, the ritual can be done in where am I saying the hold of the battle lines, uh, in towards the front of the castle keep. So, like number seven. Yes. Or number six. Number, number seven. seven. Okay, we go there. So, uh, you come into number seven, and he uh, says this shouldn't take me very long to re-up this if you could sort of guard the building in case the vampires come after me or something like that. Okay. We'll just stand here and wait. Man, sure would be nice if somebody had detect evil going on right now. Yes, yeah, Sid. Cool. Good thing like, that's happening. I only have protection from good and evil. So, uh... I definitely didn't prepare that. Yes, Sid. <laughs> Jeez. I think I did. <laughs> uh, so as he begins casting the spell, uh, Brian, you get a sense of evil by the altar. Okay, what kind of evil? Uh, fiend evil. <laughs> All right. Rock I, I evil. convey that information. Uh, I stroke my beard until next time on Ann Better. Oh, that was an entire fucking episode. Damn.